Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily diagnose and fix the MacBook muffled microphone problem. So usually what happens here is even though I'm talking into the microphone, I'm um, here in the sound preferences. I've I basically covered the microphone with my finger right now to simulate this after I've fixed it. Um, the input level is basically staying around zero right now. It's not going as high as it should be based on how loudly I'm talking. So the person on the other end of a Skype call will be saying, I can't hear you, I can't hear you. And uh, it'll sound something like this if I do a Skype test call. So we'll do the, basically the Skype Hello. testing Welcome service here. Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Plug up here. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Hello, one, two, three, one, two, three. Can you hear me? One, two, three. I'm going to tap on the laptop here. Now I'm going to play some music. I'm going to tap on the laptop here. Now I'm going to play some music. So basically when I had my finger covering... If you are able to hear your own voice, All right, then so you have configured go. Skype correct. So you can hear... You can't hear me uh, when I have the microphone uh, clogged, but you can hear music, you can hear people tapping on the laptop, but people on the other end can't hear you at all. So the quick and easy fix for this is, just turn the laptop to the side, right? Okay, there's the microphone holes there. Uh, some people on the internet say to go at it with a, a thin needle or something, but these things are laser drilled. There are no drill bits this narrow or small. I don't know what kind of needle they're using, but Nothing is as small as this. What you do is you're going to grab an old toothbrush and just basically go down against it. You should be holding it with your hand, but it's going down and in, and you're going to basically push out whatever is in there. You can use a new toothbrush. That would be better, but I only have an old one that I'm going to throw away now. And that will basically clean it up. Just go several times, and you'll eventually clean out whatever gunk is in there. But don't go at it with a thumbtack or a needle or anything, thin piece of metal. You're just going to warp the holes like I did, but I didn't wreck it. This thankfully fixed it. And after this, if you go back into preferences, as I'm talking here, it's going nice to the high levels. And if I did a test call, uh, you would hear it go, well, nice and clearly uh, 